of the construction mafia with its tentacles into the construction sector and industry in our country. A devastating effect on jobs and also the industry, but also having a real impact uh, on our economy in the country as far as growth is concerned. Now, one of the people involved heavily in the investigating of this, and what a pleasure it is to welcome Jenny Irish Korbashiane, uh, making time for us this morning, morning organized crime investigator, uh, well versed, of course, into this report uh, by the Global Initiative Against Transnational Organized Crime. Quite a mouthful, uh, Jenny Irish. Morning to you. I appreciate your time. It's been difficult for us to find people to speak to in the sector out of fear of reprisal, I imagine. Morning, you tell me how difficult this is to actually investigate. Morning. Well, you know, we started looking at this in about 2017. And we, 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 when we were first looking at it, we had quite good responses from people. People were quite open to being interviewed. But I think as this has progressed and as the kind of extortion that we're seeing taking place has become quite normalized, people have been less and less keen to talk about what is happening. I just want viewers to really understand where we were talking about the dangerous element, the criminal element, the violence uh, of some of these construction mafias. Just add some, some meat to that for me. I mean, I gave off the story and I elaborated on the story of the cost of an AK-47 bullet being used as a threat as well. But just your sense of the violence involved. You see, I think that, <clears throat> I think that, that it depends in the level of violence depends entirely on how normalized it's become. So in some areas like in KwaZulu Natal, we saw when it was first when when they first started um, to develop in that province, incredibly high levels of violence, people were killed, there was serious intimidation, the damage to property was really high. And then as it became normalized and people started to recognize that we have to cooperate with these guys because of the threat of violence. We saw the violence levels go down, but in other areas where where it hasn't become quite as normalized, it, the levels of violence are still incredibly high. Um, we've seen people being killed in Cape Town. Um, we've seen huge damage to property. We interviewed one company that was affected and they had international partners. And their international partners said that they had worked in a number of different places around the world, including places like Iraq, Afghanistan, etc. But they had not seen the kind of violence that they saw on their construction sites um, mm. that they saw in the Eastern Cape when their construction sites had been invaded. And now, of course, the issue comes in as well, Jenny, is that we're starting to see reports uh, that construction companies are just giving in. They're like, OK, let's pay this 30 percent extortion fee. I don't care what these business forums, as they call it, call themselves. These are extortionists. They're paying the 30 percent just to get on with the work, to keep people employed and finish the contract. The issue with that, though, is I imagine this is just uh, legitimizing uh, this illegal act. Yeah, I think, I think, you know, we, we do a lot of work on extortion internationally, and that is not an uncommon response that happens, particularly when your law enforcement um, and criminal justice response is quite weak, that people do start giving into it and it becomes normalized. Um, it, it not only normalizes extortion, but I think one of the things we have to recognize is that there are a number of small um, businesses that have been operating in the construction sector for a while and many of those people are now being cut out of projects because they obviously don't resort to violence in terms of trying to get access to 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 construction projects and so i think it's not just about the normalization of extortion but it also is worst affecting many mm. of the small and medium enterprises that are operating in the construction sector mm. and it's also pushing up the price of uh, uh, the cost of construction. I mean, one person we spoke to was quite open about it. Said it's a bit like a f putting a frog in a pot in, in a pot of boiling water. It's going to boil away, boil away, and then it's going to mm. explode at some point.
Yeah, absolutely. Jenny Irish, I think you've explained it very, very nicely for us, and I, I thank you for your time. Uh, very, very involved in the investigation into uh, corruption and also the construction mafia in South Africa. Jenny Irish, Obashiane, organized crime investigator, well versed uh, on this as a result of this global initiative against transnational organized crime. This is a much bigger issue than even we were able to unpack this morning. This is going to require dedicated shows and a lot more hours to unpack it, but I certainly hope, Cindy, we've given uh, you and all of our viewers a sense of how bad this is, how bad the rot actually is. As Jenny uh, says, it's like a frog in a pot of cold water and the temperature is being pushed up. It's never going to jump out.